Hey everybody, Shy Town Girl here. It is Saturday, October 28th. Man, I can't believe it. A week away and Halloween's going to be here and gone and it'll be November. I actually saw a Christmas commercial. Was it last night? Last night and then I saw one on Tuesday night. So I marked down on my calendar. You guys are going to think this is weird. But I put down on my calendar for the past couple years. I don't know why I've been doing this. Um, just for shits and giggles, I guess. Um, I put down when I see, like, the first snowflake, when I see the first Christmas commercial. It's getting earlier every year. So far, like, since I've been keeping track, every year it's gotten earlier. Wow. I just want to be able to enjoy Halloween. You know, the apples and the pumpkin pies and all that. And then ease into Thanksgiving and then ease into whether it be Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, whatever it may be. I don't know. Is it just me or is it just everything's going so fast? Okay, I'm going to start the video with something that I know absolutely nothing about. Except for when I came across it in the store, there were two young ladies in the same aisle as me. And I was proceeding to bend over to grab some of these things. And I almost got knocked over. <laughs> and I mean that literally. But it, I was a little bit bigger than they were. So I was kind of like, hey, wait a minute. So the girls proceeded to tell me that these items were hot to trot. And I should try them. Bolero. I've never heard of the company before. I am I know absolutely nothing about the company. But this is what I picked up. This is a 17.5 ounce aromatherapy bath soak um it is no artificial dyes cruelty free um it's vanilla cream and this is a pretty good size bottle here i'll bring it in nice and close so this is the bath soak and it's got a metal top that you have to break the seal to get in then i found the body cream which is 3.5 fluid ounce it's moisturizing body cream. Again, it, this is all vanilla cream, so this is an entire set. This one here looks like this. If I can get that glare. And then there's the back. And um, I always check because that's just me. I'm anal like that to make sure that there's a, a cap on there. But I can tell you. You can smell it through the cap and OMG. I love vanilla, so whew, anything vanilla, I'm not. Facial wipes, there's 30 in a package. Again, cruelty free, no artificial dyes. Use daily in addition to your normal skin regimen to give skin added protection against premature aging, the sun, and pollution. Premature aging, what about already aged? Will that wipe it off too? Wouldn't that be wonderful? 30 count package. This is, I love the packaging. I, I love the the brown and the white and the beige. It's got one of those snap up tops. Boink. There you can tell that it hasn't been opened. Okay, so little, those are three things. And then hand wash. Again, vanilla cream. 13.5 fluid ounces. What a cutesy bottle. Isn't that adorable? You got a little pump handle. It's a nice, I mean, I can't even wrap my whole hand around the bottle because it's that big. So, if that helps. There's the front of the bottle. And then there's the back of the bottle. So, I'm really curious. I didn't get into it with the girls. You know, they were younger. They wanted to get their stuff and get out. They didn't need some old bag like me asking them a million questions. But all they basically said was it was really good stuff and this was a great buy and I should grab it. So, I did what they said and so here I am with it. Um, anybody that knows about this product, I'd love to be enlightened about it. So anybody that would care to share, please comment down below. One fluid ounce body oil. It says for face, skin, and hair. Body oil provides your skin the nutrition it needs to support a healthy, youthful appearance and retain moisture and balance. So for benefits from head to toe, provide ultimate moisture for your face, skin, and hair. And this is in a package that looks like this. And then here's your back. I happen to have two of those because that's what the girls left me. So I grabbed it and that was it. They weren't getting anywhere near my cart. Okay, 
holy stickers oh my gosh if you guys want to see stickers oy vey do i have stickers i went sticker can i say slut maybe that's too strong okay um <laughs> how about sticker whore that's not even any better <laughs> i'm just messing with you guys it's friday night come on or no it's saturday night um and it's been a long day i'm just messing with y'all anyways yeah i'm i'm a sticker nut i went crazy our friends by the Christmas house, 24 count. These are foil stickers. Oh, they're so cute. Look at the reindeers and Santa. I love this guy. This one's just foot free and fancy free. Like, ta-da! Aren't those sweet? And the little hollies. This one is a 20 count. These are kind of puffy. Not super puffy, a little bit puffy. They're like snow, different kinds of snow globes, but there's snowmen in them. You know, stickers are awesome for lots of different things. You can put them on a piece of paper and write a note. Put them on the back of an envelope, the front of an envelope, on a bag. Stickers, you can do so much with stickers. Of course, a lot of these are going to go in my new planner, which, yes, many of you had said you were interested in seeing my planner, so I'm definitely going to give you guys a look at that because... It's getting so thick, it's like heavy. I, I'm saying this thing's probably got to weigh at least three pounds now, if not maybe more. This is a 29 count package and these are Christmas ornaments and trees. These are all foil, so you're gonna see that bling. That's why I'm kind of moving them back and forth. But let me bring them in just a little bit closer. Aren't those cute? And then you got candy canes and Christmas trees. And then the packages I thought were adorable. Um, any of those that, of you that are doing pocket letters and things like that, they, this would be perfect. This is a 34 count, and I'm a snowman fanatic. I love snowmen. I just love, love, love them. And this one was so cute, I actually purchased two. So this one you get 34. Look at the snowmen, and then look at these little snowflakes. It's everything I love at Christmas. Snowmen, snowflakes. I love everything, but... I am very partial to snowmen. They're just so unique and different, just like snowflakes. And then you get little Christmas bulbs. So precious. This one here is a 27 count. Again, this is the foil. Look at these gingerbread guys. I'm, I'm very partial to gingerbread too. I know, I'm, I'm gonna end up saying I'm partial to everything. But gingerbread people too, I think they're really cool. Look at the sled, the stockings. They're so sweet. And then more snowflakes. And then look at the gingerbread houses. This one's my favorite right here with the two candy canes. Okay, and I actually did get two of those. And then this is a 32 count package. And these are just a little bit puffy, not super puffy, just medium puffy. 32 ounce. And then this is a variety of a whole bunch of things. Trains and drums and horses and elves and bears nutcrackers look at this one he thinks he's all smart in that the angel just too cute i know i keep saying too cute you guys are probably going will you stop saying too cute okay i'll stop saying too cute this is a 27 pack of foil made by our pal jot this i thought was really nice the big butterflies look how big those things are i love that one with the rainbow there in the middle they're all different colors, yellow, pink. I'm kind of moving the light back and forth so you can get a better idea of the colors. Here, I'll pull it back a little bit. Look at that one with the rainbow. Isn't that cute? 41 count foil again. And look at all these stars. Blue and green and purple and yellow. One's winking, one's got his tongue hanging out. This one says, I don't know, that one looks like they're up to trouble. Like, I didn't do it. I thought those were super sweet. <laughs> super sweet. Not too cool. <laughs> okay, this one I've never seen before. Because I am such a gearhead, um, I wish it was cars, but it was motorcycles. That's okay. I like bikes too. These are pop-up stickers, and it's a 15-count package. And check this one out. I'm hoping you... There we go. Look at the motorcycles, the jackets, the skull, and the flames, the gloves... The helmet, another bike, some more gloves, some sunglasses. 
This is awesome. I've never seen one like this before, so I thought that was super cool. 28 count pop-up. I purchased a package of these way back in the day, so this was a repeat purchase because I sent these off to my niece, and this package is for me. Love the owls. All different colors. Super cute. <laughs> you guys, are, I'm gonna make you all crazy, aren't I? Okay. Glitter stickers, 25 count. Everybody knows what these are. I don't think you're really gonna see the glitter too much. Well, maybe, yep, yeah, there you go, a little bit. So anyways, you have like a medium size and then it goes into a little bit bigger of a size. These just have adhesive on the back that you just pull them off. The sheet, there's just a, a clear sheet with these are stuck on. You peel them off. Again, absolutely perfect for all different types of crafts. You name it, you can use those for anything. Now, I think a lot of people have seen um, the baby trees hauled, the green one, and then they have the white one. And they have all kinds of little ornaments now in the stores made to go on those trees. So basically you get the tree skirts, they have um, the smaller ornaments, they have the toppers, they have the lights that run on batteries. So you can basically get everything for a Christmas tree at Dollar Tree. Um, this is six count package. Love them, love them. These are white and they're not, I don't want to, they're stronger than paper, but they're not plastic. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to like mess with them a little bit more, but they're sturdy. You can hear them clicking on the package, but you get six and they're snowflakes. And you know, these are actually big enough where they don't just have to go on a baby tree. These could totally pull off on a regular Christmas tree because they're big enough. I tend to use my smaller ornaments more up towards the very top of my tree and up for the simple fact that, you know, your tree starts to come in this way. So obviously you don't want ornaments that are big and bringing it out. You keep your larger ornaments to the bottom and as you work your way up the tree, you're working from bigger to small, not the other way. I'm not saying that that's like the rule of making Christmas trees. Just my opinion, what I've ever always been informed of and just how I've ever seen other people do it as well. Um, it really doesn't matter how you decorate your tree because you know what, Santa comes no matter what and it's all about having fun with your family. Okay, I have some yum yums. Russell Stover's, who doesn't love Russell Stover's? They have a three ounce package of the mint patties in the fine dark chocolate. You usually get anywhere from about six to eight pieces per bag in these, if anybody is wondering. I purchased a caramel package as well. This one is 2.95 ounces, but again, you get the same, same amount, six to eight pieces. And then I purchased this one, which is a three ounce, and this is the Russell Stover's Coconut. And you're basically getting exactly what this looks like here. You know, it's like the little squares. These are actually going into someone's Halloween basket, a friend of mine who loves Russell Stover's, and I figured I'm just gonna get her something I know she likes, and those are gonna be going into her trick-or-treat bag. I then saw down the candy aisle. This was new to me. I don't know if it's just me or if anyone's had these. Trolley, brand name. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm kind of hoarse. It's the weather. When the leaves and everything start falling, that's when my allergies start kicking in. I've been having sneezing fits, and um, it's usually bronchitis time for me. Keep my fingers crossed. You please all keep your fingers crossed. No bronchitis this year. I really can't handle bronchitis this year. Okay, so, um, trolley, brand name candy, Sour Bright Crawlers in Watermelon. Never seen this flavor before. I've seen the trolley brand before, but not watermelon. So I'm a watermelon fanatic. This is good until December 18th of 2019. So there's plenty of time to be mowing on those. And then I came across Harbro Star Mix. Uh, is it Harbro? Har Harbro? Harbo? You guys know what I'm talking about. It says new. Never seen it before. And you get basically, it's an assortment of all the different ones that people like. So the cherry bombs, the peach rings, the snakes, the bottles, the bears. So it's basically a combo mix. So it's a little bit of everything. The package size itself is four ounces. The expiration date on this package is November 22nd of 2018. 
So you've got a whole year, a year and a month actually. Well, we're so close to November, we might as well say just a year. You got forever. Okay, let's see where we're at with time here. Okay, we actually we're moving along pretty good. Okay, I found a couple of hardback notebooks. These are five by sevens. They are 60 sheets per book. Found one in this design here. You've got the spiral bound in black. And I'm not gonna crack the seal on this because if I do, it, it breaks the seal. And these are for somebody, but they are lined. So we have one in this color, like a paisley. And then the same version in this chevron pattern. Again, five by seven, black spiral, lined paper. You know how I am with my note cards. I love my note cards, and these were perfect because, first of all, they were snowmen. Then they were blank inside, and you can't beat eight cards for a buck. Let it snow. Isn't that adorable? I love it, love it, love it. And, again, it's blank inside by my choice, so I purchased two packages of those. I thought that was perfect for this time of the year. Then... I was tickled to find these because I am such a snowflake fan. And let me just take the lining out of here. Look at this snowflake dish. It's one of those hard plastics. It's silver coated on the back, but then here it is on the front. Oh my God, it's so pretty. See the way it's sparkling? I promise you when you see this in person, it's gonna do the exact same thing. I have another one here because I definitely was going to grab two of these because these aren't going to last. Love them. Let me get you a better close up there. Oh my God, I love them. And it would probably help if I took a measurement for you because these are pretty decent size. It would help if I held the ruler properly. Oh my God. It's been a long day. I worked today. Eight and a half inches. Eight and a half inches in my triple chin right there. Aren't they beautiful? I, I just love them. You know, I might even go back and get two more just because I was, and they all were stacked up with, they were really nicely done. They had this plastic wrap in between each one. So as they were stacked, I'm thinking they must have just put these out because they were so perfect. Um, usually after somebody's ripped through them, these things are all over the floor if you can find them at all. Okay, and then, <laughs> look at these little salt and pepper shakers. Let me take them out of the package. So cute. Now for me, this is not something that I would physically use because the holes on these things are huge. Um, I like a little salt and pepper, but what would pour out of these babies? Yikes, that'd be overload. You've got where you fill it up there at the bottom. But look at the snowman and snowwoman. Aren't they sweet? Absolutely adorable. Too cute. Now these aren't huge. They're two and a half inches. So they're not gargantuan. But they're so cute. Again, like I said, I wouldn't use them myself only for decoration because I love snowmen and I don't have any salt and pepper shakers for Christmas. McCormick's Bacon Bits. I was surprised to see these. First of all, McCormick is a brand name, but I am starting to see more McCormick at the dollar stores. This is the Bacon Bits flavored Applewood Smoke. I'm looking for the size 1.87 ounce, which is basically 53 grams. Bam, there you go. Baked potato with sour cream. Oh, little salt and pepper, some butter. Oh, some Bacon Bits. Oh, on a salad. Oh, now I'm hungry. Actually, I want a piece of cheesecake. I have no idea where that came from. Okay, so again, 1.87 ounces. Bacon bits. Yum. And to wrap it all up, I came across fruit roll-ups. There's 10 in a package. My daughter, when she was younger, used to love these things. You know, because these are the ones that you rip off, and there's like faces and designs on them. You get 10 of them in a package. They're all individually wrapped, so you can toss them in the kids' lunch. I throw a few in my purse. We used to, <laughs> my daughter and I used to get silly with these things. But brand name, 10 in a package, not the one that you get eight. And Fruit Roll-Ups is a brand name. So saw those and I actually grabbed two boxes of those because 
It's just me and Kalu, and me and Kalu will have one. Actually, she probably won't because it'll be too sticky for her toofies. Okay, everybody, I'm going to wrap this up for tonight. I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday evening and what's left of it. It's absolutely gorgeous here. It's been gorgeous all week. I hope weather wherever you are is great. I want to say thank you to everybody. All the comments. I'm trying to get back to each and every one of you as fast as I quickly can. Um, please bear with me. I'm still a little overloaded on work, but things are getting a little bit better. So I'm able to just do a little bit more now. So until then, please comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you know when I'm around or you at least know when to run away. Either way, love to everybody. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night. Bye.